What's up, beanie guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. I'm joined here by Yuliana. We are at Hobbar off right now. Today's video is quite interesting. I'm going to make you meet someone who's on a mission, comes from India. I'm going to meet him and give you more detail. All right, guys. So uh, we are at this spot. Let me give you a quick context of what's happening here right now. The green jacket guy, what you see in the background, his name is Vishnu, comes from India, Mumbai. Traveling the world, circumnavigating on the land and planting trees everywhere he's going. He's here in Germany today. Um, in some time, there's going to be a minister of environment from Germany and most probably ambassador, not sure if ambassador from India. She's going to join her here now. They're going to plant a tree here, which you see right here. What is more important of all those things, what, what I'm talking is, is his story of, of where did he start, uh, how did he start, and why did he start, and what inspired him to go around the world, plant trees, and how important this topic is, especially for youngsters who are watching me. And then, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short for now and uh, let this whole event sink in slowly. <laughs> That's Minister. Thank you for your help. I'm just preparing my mind for Russian food in the December. So, Ms. Mukta Tomer is also here. That's where she is. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Happy the Sarah. Thank you too. YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. YouTuber. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm here to cover the event and yeah. share with my audience and yeah, so everybody will know. Everybody will know about this event <laughs> for sure. Today or tomorrow. <laughs> Sie hier sind vielen Dank für die Initiative. Wir werden ein Baum pflanzen. Das tun wir hier sehr symbolisch. So thank you very much for joining us here for uh, this event today. Um, what we're doing today is a symbol because you are traveling the world planting trees in different countries to uh, draw attention to climate change. And this is really what the world needs. We need these symbols and we need green spaces and greenery in our cities. This is very important to be able to endure these hot summers and it's also important for biological diversity which we also need in the, uh, in the cities. So thank you again very much for joining me for this event, for this initiative and the prominent uh, attendance of the Ambassador of India and from the city of Berlin. Thank you. You need to say some words. Before that I have some gifts for you. I'll just pick up them. Which color you would like? <laughs> it's, it's your choice. Like this is matching yeah. with your. Yeah, this one. okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we look at this present to you. We can jump yeah. this for you. <laughs> <laughs> for the wonderful initiative that you have. Yeah. <laughs> so they've put this now. Alright guys, so I'm joined here by uh, Minister of Environment. Ma'am, it's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. <laughs> um, and attending this event. Today I attended this event um, and there are a lot of youngsters like me who are watching this. What is the message for them for such an event which is like just a planting tree while a lot of us are caught up in social media these days and events yeah, yeah. like in our busy life. That's a symbol. We need to have symbols for what's uh, going on with climate change here. And we need these symbols to say we need more green. We need more trees 
uh, just to deal with this climate change and yeah. we we need to act not to talk about we need to act That's to do it. something against climate change and so I'm here today to say that's one one thing we could do, but we could do a lot of more things. Get rid of our plastics and pay attention what you are doing. Get, pay attention how you ride, how you're traveling. That's really, really important. And uh, so thank you that you are the one who's talked about that. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and and uh, how is Germany contributing to this uh, whole initiative to the world? We, we are just one of the, the states who is very, very close. Uh, we support action against climate change very, very strong. We have our own law for uh, dealing with that, pay attention on it. I'm the one who's uh, responsible for that in the government. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks a lot for your time, madam. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I'm sure you guys took the message, don't just talk, act. That's one of my taglines, actually. Oh, no. And you said that. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, madam. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys, so I'm joined here by Ambassador Madam. Once again, nice to meet you. Uh, and Vishnu on my right here. Starting from you, madam, this event, and especially for India, how important it is environmental issues, basically. Good morning, Namaskar, Happy Dasera. Uh, how do you see? Uh, Shubha Vijaya to my fellow Bengalis. Yeah. First of all, I'd like to congratulate. Vishnu, he has come a long way. I think Germany is one of the most environment friendly green countries in the world. We have excellent cooperation with Germany in, in environmental matters, uh, in renewable energy, in green energy. You know how much importance the country is paying these days to climate change issues, to environmental issues. As we discussed a little while ago, every tree counts, every tree is important. This initiative is a wonderful way of connecting India and Germany. So I'd like to thank Vishnu as well as the German Federal Minister for Environment uh, for supporting this program. Uh, it's really, really great honor for me that Minister and Madam Ambassador has taken out time and they have come here and given me honor in, to plant a tree in front of the Chancellor's office. Yeah. It's really great and, and the honor. Minister. Don't forget the Parliament. Yeah, uh, yes. the Parliament is right there. Oh, that one, that, that one, the dome. Mm, the dome. Super. I was told only about this. Huh? The, uh, that's yes. right. That's that's really, really great, ma'am. Thanks a lot, madam. Uh, and thanks a lot, Vishnu. Yeah. These people, what you see there, they are ministry employees and they use cycle to move around the city. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here with the star itself, uh, Vishnu from uh, Mumbai. Here to know about his journey. Onto his right is Mala. <laughs> uh, she's from Berlin. Uh, Lily's from Mexico. We all were in the event and here to know a bit more about uh, Vishnu's journey to aspire other people to do what he's doing. I'm really interested or all of us are really interested to know your purpose. Why are you traveling the world? Uh, circumnavigation, what you're doing on the land. Um, can you start with when was that time you felt like, okay, I think this is a need for planting a tree? Actually, there are two things I'm doing. One is like, uh, I'm making a circle around the earth by land route. Mm. It is called circumnavigation of the earth. And while doing this, I plant a tree. Suppose I stay at one particular place as a memory of my visit to that place. I plant a tree. I started this tree. On 19th of March 2016, I started it from Mumbai, Kolkata, then North East States, then Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and China. In the similar line, I did Australia. That was my first flight from China to Australia. Otherwise, everything is by land. And from Australia, I went to Argentina, and from Argentina to Mexico, all by land, except to cross Panama a flight. And from there to Europe now, in Europe, Portugal, Spain and France and this is a Germany now. Looking at him like traveling the world with certain reason, mm -hmm. would you want to do this? Yeah, I don't think if I would be brave enough for this. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say. You have to be really yeah. brave. Right. So, but um, in itself, it's it sounds amazing, you know, to, uh, it's three years now, right? Yes. Yeah, so wow. it, it gets kind of a lifestyle. Uh, I guess and it's yeah I I would do if I would be brave <laughs> enough but uh, you really need to be brave yeah, that's that no, makes sense no, yeah yeah plant the tree but then it's curly plant 
to grow up and they grow up and grow up and grow up. It's, yeah. Sometimes we say that the people who plant the, the, the tree never will see the fruit of the tree. No, yeah, that's... Wow, nicely put that. Yeah, yeah. I was reading through some of your articles which you have written. He writes really nice articles on his Facebook page, right? Facebook or, or you also have a blog post, yeah? That when you pass it on this earth to your uh, future generation, mm -hmm. it should be given the way you got that. <laughs> yes. Right? Um, that segues me to another question of mine, which is if you have to really boil it down and imagine a 21 year old dude who's watching um what's your message for him who's caught up with his life trying to become something in future and you come up and say like listen the purpose of life is way bigger than what you're suppressing yourself into it's very tough questions to answer but i'll put it very simply now we are in the modern world we cannot just go back to the stone age so we have to make a fine balance of our life, modernism, without compromising the ecological balance. If I need one shoe, I will have only one shoe. If I buy 10 shoes, then I'm exploiting from the nature. I'm exploiting the resources of the nature. So just take whatever you need. And now it's like a too much capitalism. Everything is like a use and throw. Do not make a lot of plastic waste use natural resources like electricity, water, whatever you require. If you are studying, open the window, use the sunlight instead of the electricity. If in a student life we could do these few things, you are, we are helping to the nature, I think. Realistically, like, like having a minimalistic life, what you're talking about, like living with limited resources and unnecessarily do not damage if, if not required. Try to use the resources which are around us. One thing I've learned from you today is definitely have a bigger goals in life. Something which is impossible when people laugh at you, uh, you show them how it's done. I want to end this video with one message of yours. The last thought, like, if I had to tell something is this, we have taken this earth, not from our parents, but we have taken this earth from our children and grandchildren. We have to make sure that we have to give this earth very nice, a livable planet to our kids. 20 years ago, the water was free commodity. We can have like water, every, every, it was everywhere available. But in like 20 or 30 years, water become a commodity and you can buy the water in the supermarket. You pay one euro and you can buy 500 ml water in a bottle if we ask our grandparents they said this was new concept for us and i wonder if this same situation happened with oxygen after 30 mm -hmm. years your mind children will be waiting in front of the supermarket to buy some one kilo oxygen for one day so i wish this should not happen with our kids we should give them the planet what we received and we should make it more beautiful, make more green, more livable, more enjoyable for our kids. Wow. I don't think so I would have put that nicely. What are your roadmaps and when are you reaching Mumbai again where you started your journey? I make a plans for only three days. I just think life for next three days. Considering the route map for a practical solution to reach India is Russia, Mongolia and China and then crossing Himalaya, enter into India. I hopefully I'll reach India maybe by March and that will be my third anniversary of the trip. And then you'll officially be completing traveling the world? Mm, yes, as soon as I touch uh, Mumbai, a suburb of Mumbai, then my circle around the earth, for example, I started from this point, from this point, I came again to same point, I touched the same point, then my circle around the earth is complete. Then earth is not flat, it's round then. Yes, I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, on that note, I would like to say goodbye. And if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.